Do your brakes sound like this? Headphone wearers, be aware, it's loud. Check out this clip. If your brakes squeal like that, it could be a couple of different things. One, they got dirt and debris stuck in there, just clean it out. Or it could be the brakes got too hot and have a glaze on the rotor and the brake pads as well. That's my problem right now. The brake pads got a little warm during practice the other night. And so it just got loud and started squealing. And that's where you're hearing these, that clip. So I'll get into the stuff that I use to make this easier to clean and we'll get into it. So let's get to the parts, then we'll get it on the bike. I'm not gonna do a tutorial how to take the brake pads off. I'll kind of just show you a clip of what I'm using to get it out and how quickly and easily it is to get the brake pads out. Then I'll show you how I do it. Let's get into it. All right, so these are the tools that you can use to do the clean or the deglazing of the brake pads. Uh, to actually do the brake pads themselves, you can use just regular sandpaper. I recommend putting it on a piece of wood or something that is a flat surface you can sand across, and I'll show that one here in a minute once I get the pads off. You could also use an orbital sander or a palm sander. I'm not actually gonna use either one, I'm gonna use an air grinder with a sand pad on the actual grinder. Once I'm done with that, I will clean the rotor with contact cleaner and a Scotch-Brite pad, a red one or a green one will work, and then I wipe it off once I'm done with a microfiber cloth until it comes off clean. So we'll get into that. Um, I'm actually gonna use an eight millimeter socket to get my brake pads off. And I'll show you that here in a second. Like I said, it's not gonna be a how to to remove brake pads is all brake pads will be different. So we'll get into it on the bike. All right, we're over here at the bike. I'm just gonna pull the brake pads off real quick. Like I said, eight millimeter. And we are going to take this bolt out right here. I know it's kind of hard to see, but take this eight millimeter bolt out, pull this little clip off and then the pads will actually just come out from the top. Let's get into it. Brake pad out. Second brake pad out. All right, we'll go over to the bench and we'll discuss this further. All right, if you can see, I'll try to get it in focus. It's kind of hard to tell, but if you look, there is the grooves in there from dirt and debris getting in there you know we all riding around that dirt's flying around so it gets in there but if you can tell there's like a slight glaze over the pad itself and that's what gets the squealing as it gets hot because it warms up and then makes this film on here we'll have to get it off of the brake pad and the rotor itself let me put it in the vise and i'll show you how i sand them down all right first we need to remove the backing plate off if you have one just it unclips simple as that now we'll put it in the vise all right it's in the vise i try to make sure it's level so it'll be easier to get the pads as flat as possible and see here there it's level make sure your vise is tight and if you don't have a vise set it on a flat surface and just sand it down with whichever way you're going to do it if you're going to use power tools or air tools or whatever i recommend you putting it in a vise or having some way of holding it down so it doesn't slip all right, so now we have the sandpaper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this down. It's gonna take a minute or two, but once you get it nice and shiny, if you can already see, it's already getting shiny on there. I will do this with an air tool is to make it quicker, and that's just what I wanna do instead of using the sandpaper. So I'll get into that and I'll come back to you once I show you how it's all nice and clean. All right, so now this is after sanding for a couple of minutes with the air grinder here with the sandpaper end. Nothing too hard, simple, but you can do it with sandpaper as well. It's gonna take a minute. The one thing I recommend is waiting a few minutes. Let it cool down, because it will get hot, because you're rubbing friction and all that stuff. So let, let it cool down, do the same thing to the other one, and then we will put them back on the bike after we clean the rotor. All right, there they are, all deglazed and cleaned. Next thing I'll do is clean these, but let's go clean the rotor first. Grab our pad, our microfiber cloth, 
and our contact cleaner. Let's head over to the bike. All right, we're over here at the bike. I went ahead and jacked it up so I can spin the rear wheel freely. Take your red or green Scotch-Brite pad, and we are going to spin the rotor with the Scotch-Brite pad on both sides so it can get the contact service on both sides. Spin this around until you think you've got enough of the dirt and stuff cleaned up, then do it a little bit longer, making sure you get the entire contact pad from the top to the bottom on both sides. All right, now that we're done with the Scotch-Brite pad, we're gonna take the contact cleaner, spray it on the microfiber cloth, and we're gonna keep doing that until the microfiber cloth comes out clean after I do two or three rotations to make sure it's clean and there's no more dirt coming onto it. We'll get into it. One pass. New section of the spray. And continue to wipe. And that's what it looks like. So we'll probably do one more good clean on it. If you do get the contact cleaner on the tire, just wipe it up. Third time. There's the third wipe, no dirt remaining. We'll go ahead and put the brake pads in and we'll do a test ride. Brake pads have been reinstalled after deglazing the rotor and brake pads. Make sure when you put the pads back in, you torque the bolt to whatever specifications your manufacturer recommends. Make sure the pads are turned the right way, not metal to metal. Pads go towards the rotor. So we'll go ahead and do a test ride and we'll go from there. Well guys, as you could hear in that clip, there was no more squealing of the brakes. That is the simplest way that I know how to deglaze brake pads and brake rotors. I've been doing it a while on cars and motorcycles. Works the same way. Cars just a little bit more work. So, But with that being said, guys, one thing I did forget to mention is when you are finished, pump the brakes. Always, if you ever work on brakes, pump the brakes before you back out or start driving. Just trust me. I've seen it happen when I was working at the dealership many years ago. Pump the brakes. Make sure they work before you leave. But with that, guys, I'm not a licensed mechanic to work on bikes. I just like working on my own bikes. I love wrenching, period. Love mechanics and stuff. If you like that sort of thing, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. I like working on all sorts of things, but right now it's all motorcycle related because that's what my passion is. So if you like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps me out to make this channel grow into bigger and better things. But guys, remember, ride safe, have fun, and enjoy motorcycling. Thank you.